Welcome back to another episode of Three Pound Fishing, folks. We're in the middle of the day. We've got a cloudy day, but it's a beautiful day, as you can see. Warm, water temperatures around 80 degrees. Just got done with a guy trip. And I decided I'm gonna do some midday fishing today. See how these pals are reacting to the sun going up. Um, it was a great guy trip today. Caught big fish today. And so trying to hopefully can reproduce that during the middle of the day here today. So got the hammer tens, all the 10 footers, the best 10 footer on the market. You guys gotta check it out at three pound fishing.com. But we're gonna get on some piles here. Let's do that. Gotta thank the old sponsors, the original fish formula and all my favorite people out there. Thank you for subs subscribing if you have subscribed. But well, we're about to get this party started. If you don't know about my setup, let me just walk you through it real quick as we get started here. This is an 8616, that's a 16 inch screen, okay? Now in the middle of the day like this, it really doesn't matter. You're never gonna get the brightest picture that you want because you got a lot of reflections. Um, no, I don't believe in one of those deals that do one of this that covers it up because at the end of the day, I think it really does get in your way when you're trying to work around your screen. Um, but if you know one that's awesome, let me know. If you love it, let me know. So I've got, been getting a lot of comments about the footage here. Yes, my transducer is kind of wacky. Sometimes it'll show three foot. Uh, sometimes it'll show the correct footage, but the reality is it just doesn't mess with, I don't, I don't really care. So I let it do its thing and maybe during the winter, I'll call Garmin and see if they'll take care of it, which they will, because I love their customer service. So look at that target right there, guys. Just look at it. That's where we're going first. Mmm. Oh my gosh. There it is. First fish of the day and it's a tank. All right guys, that's a tank right there. Oh man, got out. First fish of the day right there. Using the Signature Series Hammer 10 from Three Pound Fishing. Sniping braid. And right now, the hot jig. Ain't no joke. That orange chartreuse and black. You can buy that in a single. Ridiculous. We're gonna let them go though. Cause that's how we roll thanks for joining me today we're gonna to have a great day and i can tell you right now you know we talked about the different types of baits right and today on the guy trip we did go through an awful lot of guy uh, baits trying to figure out which one worked out and they all did kind of work out at one level or another but this guy right here one third at 132nd ounce off my website was out of doubt the hot ticket we had two rods going with it because of it so that's why i'm starting with it today this afternoon seeing if it'll do the same thing so i don't know let's see let's do it up oh man that guy hit hard <laughs> you gotta love it folks now i changed up the color to bubblegum pink and my patriot color that i have on the website so a little fish there but man that was no hesitation that was hilarious no hesitation there it is that's a good fish super sensitive let's talk about the hammer tin man let's just talk about it. i want to tell you that's another awesome fish. I wanted to go over a couple of things about the Hammer 10 that are really incredible, okay? Let's first start off with the easy stuff, okay? Stainless steel eyelets, but they're double reinforced and they're just absolutely little tanks, okay? So, beautiful, beautiful workmanship. We also have a really nice fade into a maroon with a metallic background. So I don't know if you guys can appreciate that, that look right there, but it looks great. Graphics obviously are tight, love it. And you know, we talk about the diameter of the rod, which gives you a lot more backbone 
and sensitivity with the rod. So we did so many things with the cork handle to make it convenient and to allow variability between anglers. But we'll go into that some, at some other point. But regardless, this rod has gotten incredible reviews up to this point. Only a short period of time, obviously. But it's something that I had worked on for so long that I can't imagine not fishing with it going forward. It's that good of a rod. So a lot of great things coming, but let's put some more fish in the boat. Let's do it. Mm -mm -mm. Bam, getting it done, having fun. Summer guide trips are going awesome right now. Uh, I still have availability in the month of July and August. So if you'd like to book a guide trip, we will put fish in the boat. It's been awesome. Brush pile fishing has been awesome. So. That's a picture fish. That's a nice fish. We'll just say that's a nice fish. Man, that was awesome. That's just a nice fish. Right there, good fish. Going back, and we're going back for more. Now check out that pile, guys. I try to work that pile from top to bottom, always. And if I come up short right now, I'm okay with that, because I'm just trying to grab those fish off this one left side. So anytime, I, I do not try to go right through that pile. I don't want to break it up. I'm going to keep it intact as much as possible. This is summer crappie fishing at its finest right here. You'll find spots that are just loaded up, and I'm trying to pick them off as little bit as, as possible so I don't disrupt the whole pile and there they come and they'll do that quite a bit they'll go right back a lot of questions about the new reels so if you guys follow me on Facebook Instagram and all that stuff you know that I've been starting to talk about the new reels that are coming out. So yes, we're gonna be a full service, three pound fishing, it's gonna be a full service brand. We're gonna do everything. And uh, the reels are coming and they're awesome. And then on top of that, we have the new 13 footers, 15, 16s, all that good stuff's coming too in due time. But uh, we're planning for a big fall. Mm -mm. now some people do ask me about my mounts okay i'm cornfield fishing gear this is the folding mount it's absolutely awesome this is a bass cat links so if you are in the market for a bass cat links you need to check this out he will custom make a base that will fit on the bass cat links it's incredible you need to check them out for sure All right, guys, small fish to end the episode, but great episode. Summer fishing brush piles, don't disturb all the fish. Work it around the top, the side, all that good stuff. Sensitive products, the hammer 10, the sniping braid, all those things play a part in getting that finicky fish, the one that just, just is barely tapping on it to actually commit to it and you feeling it. All those products make sure that you feel it. It's very important. So I uh, hope your summer's going great. Please subscribe and uh, we've got a lot of good episodes coming forward and for the summer and I uh, appreciate you. Have a great one.